Hello Southface community and welcome back to another Road Tanks console video. So in this video I'm going to be driving the tier, the other tier 10 auto loading tank destroyer, the Fox 155 and I'm going to be using the 120mm on this tank. You get two guns, 120mm with like a 30 second reload for six shots. Each shot does like 400 damage. Or you get the second gun. It's 50 seconds, three shells, each shell does like 800 something damage. And yeah, I'm going to be using the 120 millimeter. There are two tier 10 auto loading and tank insurers. The Waffle Trader E100, which I did not too long ago, did about 8,000 damage game. And now I'm going to be driving the Flunch 155 and showing you about the same damage game at this time. And we got people complaining, as you can see. And game chat, if you can hear that. We're gonna turn that down. <laughs> but yeah, basically, long story short, he's getting mad at STDs for capping here. So, yeah. Basically, Waffle Trigger E100. It's a really accurate, really good aim time. Good penetration. It has a really good gun. It's basically all it has. The Flash 155, on the other hand, has good armor. And it's fast. And relays a lot quicker than the Waffle Trigger E100. But, it's not as accurate as the Waffle Trigger E100. As you can see, me shooting on this conquer. Where he put, took me four shots to kill that conquer. I got two shots left. I want to. It's that Pantera, and I want to hit that Centurion. So, pretty good clip at the long distance this is. This Flunch 155 is supposed to be like a mid range. The armor is good, but you have weak points. You got the top two, like, impalers that you can see at the top of the tank. Those are weak points. And this is really big, but if you're at mid-range, they're small enough to miss. And your armor's pretty good, and your gun's still pretty accurate. At long distances, like I am at right now, it's pretty hard to hit your targets but you can see me getting somewhat lucky as you can see the E5 is just getting super lucky putting two shots into his track and a shot in two and the other shot goes into his ammo but we are losing we already lost our one artillery we picked up a kill and did 2732 damage but we're losing by two tanks and as you can see, the Alpha Trigger Panzer IV is getting lit up. I'm afraid of the artillery. And if there's any high penetrating, high penetrating tanks out there, I'm going to get lit up like that Alpha Trigger Panzer IV is. 103, tried to put a shot into his lower Galicia's plate, but he pulled back too fast. Now I'm trying to take out this light tank. Now, once we're at this stage of the game, where the enemy has pushed through one flank, like, at this position, having a light tank is super powerful. We need spots out there. The only way we can actually shoot over there, if we can actually see them, as that heavy tank is over there, spotting them up. And the only way the enemy team can see us, if that light tank comes and spots us up. But if we take out their eyes, they can't hit us, but we can see them. We lost our Type 4, type four Heavy, and I see we're getting outflanked. Here comes an object 704, and I'm about to be re reloaded. And you're about to see some of the armor part. And the gun performance. We get shot in the side by the 103. 
but, but three shots in seven to four. And try to put two shots in the VK100 to win. P. One goes low, and the other one hits the lower glacis plate. And now we're back to our 35 second reload. So, I know right now, I got to get to cover. Because the back armor, air, the rear armor, and the side armor in this tank absolutely sucks. If you ever drive a 155. Anything and everything will pin your size and rear at this tier, especially at this tier. And, and even tier 8, 7, 6, and probably 5s can pin your back. And you're real. Now, I'm going to put some shots in the 103, and here comes that VK. And now I'm back to a reload. The 150, the 120 on the Fudge is not the most accurate gun, as you can see right here. As you can see, we're close up to these tanks, to these tanks, so they have perfectly good shots as our at our weak points, which is the two giant controllers, and if you have enough penetration, you can actually go to the lower plate, the lower glacius plate. Thank you, Artillery, for taking out the VK 101P that allows me to come over here and take out this 103. He's yes, you're using the smaller gun, so I don't have a worry of him putting my armor. And he's dead. Put three shots into him. Go back for another reload. We're up to three kills, 5,971 damage. 2,240 block and 16 penetrations. And I see the only people we have left, I'm telling this medium to go get the artillery. Because us tanks insurers are going to stay over here and try to defend the base. But the only way the enemy team can dig us out is the artillery. And I'm looking at the in our friendly tank discharges. It's a Wolf and Tiger Panzer IV and an Iron Rain. They have no armor. I'm the only person that's fast enough. Besides the medium tank, I'm the only person that's fast enough and has the armor. And now I'm going to go spot. We took out that light tank, which is a very good plus. I'm telling my Wolf and Tiger Panzer IV and the I arrange to cover me. And hopefully they can't over me. And the artillery should do the same thing. And now I'm just waiting for that medium tank to go get the artillery. And here's the 103. It looks like my TDs are doing their jobs. They're paying attention and they took out the 103. And somehow the P-44 Pantera kills itself. He was at half health when he left. And he kills itself. I've been spotted. There's a Waffen Trigger Panzer. I put a shot into him. He ricochets. And I put three shots into him. And one more shell will do the trick. I switched to premium because I noticed the Waffen Trigger Panzer IV is using the big gun, the 155 millimeter. So, no, I actually should have high explosive. And there's Jared Joy. I noticed because the Waffen Trigger Panzer IV is lightly armored if I can hit it in the turret. And. The 155 on that tank, well, the 155 on that, the 155 millimeter, the 155 gun on the Waffen Trigger Panzer IV doesn't have a lot of penetration for its tier, but it doesn't really matter if he's aiming at my weak point and stay in cover. But we did all we could do. We our team managed to 
secure a victory. We did 7,172 damage, lot 3,310, and we got a high caliber, top of the leaderboards. And basically, that was the Watch 155 at long range and at short range and as a spotter. I wanted to take out the Wolf and Trigger Panzer IV. I should have waited. That was my mistake. I rushed out there. I chased down that Waffentrager Panzer IV, and I should have drawn him back so he, so my allies had fire on him. That was my mistake, but my allies figure out where they are, and my artillery just rained fire on them, and they die really, really quick. So, that was basically the game. If you liked the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to slap your face, because why would you not? And peace out, see ya.